Hello friends, in this video I'd like to uh, present my solution to the following problem from the Ma Italian Mathematical Olympiad 1995, problem number 6. We wish to uh, solve the following equation, Giofantin equation, find all the pairs of integers x and y such that x squared plus 615 equals 2 to the power of y. So my hints for you. Uh, First of all, can y be negative? It's pretty easy to answer this question. Then it's a good idea to factorize 615. Pretty easy also. Then the interesting parts. Show that y must be even by considering a reduction module 3. And last but not least, Factorize uh, 2 to the power of y minus x squared after showing that y must be an in even number. So give it a go and try it. Okay, so I hope that you came up with a solution. I will present now my solution. So first of all, first of all, let's consider, let's see. Here we have x squared, so our pairs of solutions will come with x and minus x as well, because sine of x doesn't matter. So we can assume, we can assume, we can assume that x is non-negative for now, for now. Moreover, can y be negative? No, it cannot. Why? Because the left hand side is clearly an integer. It's clearly an integer. And if y, uh, if y is negative number, then on the right hand side we have a fraction. So an integer cannot be equal to a fraction. So we see, it's obvious, we see that y must be non-negative yes okay now the next part uh, 615 is 3 times 5 times 41 so it's a good idea to consider reduction of our equation either by 3, module 3, or module 5, or module 41. I will reduce it module 3. And what will we get? So, reduction module 3. After reduction module 3, we have the following x squared should be congruent to 2 to the power of y modulo 3. And now, let's notice the following thing. Right hand side is never divisible by 3, because power of 2 is never divisible by 3, it's obvious. So the right hand side is congruent either to 1 or minus 1. But the left hand side is congruent to 0 or 1. It's pretty easy to check that uh, square of an integer is never congruent to 2, module 3. Uh, so, if this is the case, it must be true that 2 to the power of y must be congruent to 1, module 3. But this implies, in turn, that y must be even. Why? Because 2 uh, to the first power would be congruent to minus 1, 2 to the second power is congruent to plus 1, and so on and so on. It alternates between 1s and minus 1s. Uh, so y must be even. It's very important. Why? Because now we can write the following 615 equals 2 to the power of y minus x squared 
but because y is even, we can factorize our expression in this manner. And we are still dealing with integers because y over 2 is an integer, positive integer, non negative integer. Okay. And now, divisors of 615, there are only 8 divisors of this number, namely uh, 1, 3, 5, 15, 41, 123, uh, 205, 615, finally. So, we have only the following options. I will write them. 2 to the power y over 2 minus x equals 1, and 2 to the power y over 2 plus x equals 615, or 2 to the power y over 2 minus x equals 3, 2 to the power y over 2 plus x equals 205, or 2 to the power y over 2 minus x equals 5, and 2 to the power y over 2 plus x equals 123, or the last option, the first number equals 15, the second number equals 41. Uh, there is no need to write further uh, options, for example, 41, 15, because by our assumption, x is non negative. So this number is less than this number. Mm -hmm. Very well. But let's notice the following now. So we, we just have to solve these systems of equations. By adding these two equations together, we get 2 times 2 to the power y over 2 equals 616. It's not possible because 616 is not a power of 2. Similarly, the second equation is also impossible because we will get 208. 208 is not a power of 2. Sorry. And the last equation is also not possible because uh, 56 is also not a power of 2. But the third equation, it's not impossible. After adding these equations together, we get 128. So 2 to the power y over 2 equals 64. So y over 2 equals 6, because 2 to the power of 6 equals 64. So y is 12. And what is x? x can be found by subtracting these equations. So 2x equals, after subtraction, we get 118. So x equals 59. Okay, so in fact we get a pair of solutions, 59 and 12. But remember, uh, it's important now to remember that x can be also negative. So minus 59 and 12 is also a suitable pair of, of solutions. So finally, all in all, solutions solutions, we have two pairs of solutions, minus 59, 12, or 59, 12. And that closes our problem from number theory, from Biafantine equations. So, as you can see, uh, in these types of problems, often, very often, a reduction module of some number can be very beneficial. 
the only question is well weekly reduction should I do to simplify our problem there is no golden rule but it's a good idea to try small integers reduction modulo some small integer two three five maybe and so on here I reduced my equation modulo three and I managed to solve it pretty easily so I hope that you learned something today and goodbye see you soon